So we're trying to detect brucella bacteria in dairy products like uh, milk and also cheese. Uh, brucella has been pretty much eradicated in the U.S. Uh, except for maybe three states. There's also quite a bit of concern now about uh, uh, unpasteurized cheese coming from Europe, uh, from the Mediterranean countries. Uh, brucella outbreaks are not uncommon uh, in uh, Europe, and uh, there's concern that this, they will also happen here. Hence, we believe there is a need for a technology that is rapid, uh, that is portable, that is cheap, and that can be easily used by farmers uh, on their field. So we have invented a new technology uh, that allows us to bring the molecule. And so we're talking about DNA molecules of brucella. We can bring the molecules very rapidly to the sensor where we do the detection. And this has never been done before. Our goal for this technology is to keep it simple and easy to use and can be used by anyone. So the test will be a push-button based technology uh, when a prototype is developed, which will involve taking a raw product, it could be a meat or a milk product, that will pass through a pretreatment unit, which will give us the genetic signature of brucella if it is present in the product. Then it will go into our detection device, and in this detection device, just by a simple electrical measurement, we will be able to corroborate whether brucella is present in the sample or not. So in the past, uh, we have used this test to detect E. coli, dengue fever virus, and we're currently working on tuberculosis as well. With the current funding from USDA and a collaboration between Notre Dame and Purdue University, we, would, we are hoping to find a better technology uh, that can detect uh, Brazella. Since this technology is a very generic platform, we hope that this technology can even be used uh, for detection of salmonella or other bacteria or viruses that uh, affect the farmers.